everyone. Welcome to the lesson. In this lesson, I'll look us to solve a question on the equation of a circle. Uh, the question is here. Yeah. The equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus 4 is equals to 0. On the grid provided, draw the circle. So let me go to the grid. Uh, so the grid is here. Yeah. Already uh, the x-axis and the y-axis, those values were given. Uh, that is the grid that was given. You're required to draw the circle using this equation. Now, what are you supposed to do in this question? One thing you're supposed to ask yourself is how do you draw the circle? How do you need to draw the circle? And you need two things. One, you need the center of the circle. The center of the circle. That is one thing that you need to in order to draw that circle. And then the second thing you need is the radius. Once you obtain these two from the equation given, you'll be able to draw the circle. Now, uh, looking at that equation, how do you get the center of the circle and how do you get the radius? There's one thing again that you require to know. That is the standard equation of any circle with radius r. How is it? And this is the equation the standard equation of any circle with radius r is given as follows this is a standard equation but x subtract a squared plus y subtract b squared is equals to radius squared this is the standard equation of any circle with radius r and center the center of the circle is given as a b and r is the radius now knowing this our standard equation of a circle we need now to reorganize the equation that we have here so that it becomes this form we convert this equation to this format so let me go straight to that x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus 4 so how do you convert this one we want to write it until it is in this form now this is what you're going to do so x squared, so x squared, we're going to group the like terms and complete the square. So x squared, subtract 4x, we need to complete the square. This is a subtract 4x. Then to complete that square, this is something that we need to add. And then uh, we pick y, this is y squared, y squared. And then uh, this one is plus 6y, plus 6y. Then we need to complete that square again. And then there's something that you're going to do to the 4 that you have here. You can see these are positive 4. We're going to take this one to the right-hand side of the equation. So when you do that, uh, positive 4, we take it to the other side, it will be negative 4. So that is what you're supposed to do, the first thing. You pick the x squared and negative 4x you complete the square then y squared plus 6y you complete the square and this will be able uh, by doing so you'll be able to write the equation in this format so let, let's complete this already we've done uh, how to complete this square so x uh, squared subtract x this one to complete this one you need to take uh, half the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is negative 4 half the coefficient of x then you square that and then uh, for y squared, again, this is y plus half of that. So half the coefficient of y will be 6 divided by 2. Then you square is equals to uh, this something that you're going to do here. Uh, 4. And then whatever you add here, of course, this one you get this one is, uh, this is negative 4. Uh, this, this will be 4 divided by 2 will give you two then two squared will give you four you must add that to the right hand side and then for this one six divided by two is three so three squared is nine so whatever you have added here to complete the square you must add it to the right hand side so what you have four divided by two squared will be four you have to add four to the right hand side then six divided by two will be three three squared is nine so this one will give x squared subtract 4x and this will be plus 4 and you have added that 4 then plus this will be y squared plus 6y 
plus this will be 9 is equals to negative 4 plus the 4 that we've added here have to show these this 4 and this 9 must be added here you must add them there like that so let us now factorize factorize this x squared minus 4x plus 4 when you factorize that you get uh, x subtract 2 squared we've done this one in the previous lesson how to factorize then plus factorize this y squared plus 6y plus 9 when you factorize that you get uh, y plus 3 squared is equals to negative 4 plus 4 plus 9 you get uh, 9 now if you now compare you can see now this one is now in this format of the standard equation of a circle if you compare this one x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equals to r squared you definitely see that um, the center is now clear uh, where a and b is center so the center will therefore be the center of the circle will be negative 2 and this one will be not negative 2 no this one will not be negative 2 this one will be positive 2 if you just compare negative a is equals to negative 2 uh, you get the run to be 2 then negative b is equals to 3 that one will be negative 3 so that is how you get the center just compare these uh, general uh, standard equation of a circle and then uh, for this one r squared is equals to 9 so r therefore is going to give 3 we are not going to consider the the negative we're just going to take the absolute since this one is a measurement this one is the radius the length so now we obtained at the center uh, to be 2 th negative 3 and then the radius is 3 having that now it is now possible to draw we can now proceed and draw the equation of a circle uh, so the first thing is to locate the center the center is here negative 2 3 so the center will be here this is where the center will be so what you're going to do standing down uh, using your pair of compass you stand there and then uh, the radius the radius is uh, three units three units have that measurement of three units so i already have that you can see these are three squares one two three so taking a radius of three units now you can construct um, the circle so taking the radius of three units you can now construct the circle like that and uh, that is how you're supposed to draw that circle by simply identifying the center which is a uh, Two, negative three then the radius is three units then standing at the center you simply draw the circle so that is uh, how you're supposed to solve that question thank you